Well, this sucks. What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon video. Uh, the Hidden Fate Super Duper Premium Collection box has released today, and unfortunately, we will not be opening one. I did pick up two, but uh, as you can see, here is one of them Rip Rayquaza, Shiny Rayquaza. The thing is definitely broken. All the packs are all over the place. Uh, we kind of look from above, and I can't really tell. But uh, yeah, definitely not opening this one. And uh, let's take a look at the second one. All right, so box number two, I feel like there is a small chance that this one is actually okay, but I don't really want to risk opening it. I want to reach out to the vendor, or I have reached out to the vendor. I would like to discuss with them, you know, what my options are. Again, this one potentially might be, however, I feel like it's a little bit taller than it appears to look in here. Um, so it's possible I'll open this in a little bit and in a couple days when I hear back from the vendor, but I figured to play it safe. Um, you know, this is happening all over the place. So, and I heard rumors that Pokemon will replace them. And if that is the case, you know, it might be safe just to have this replaced versus opening it, finding it broke. And maybe at that point I can't get it replaced. I am very worried about all the packs though. You know, even though the rare and the reverse rare slot is like in the middle of the pack, um, these things were probably flipping around in there with that giant dragon <laughs> for a long time. So who knows what could have happened. Um, but, you know, uh, actually we'll talk a little bit more about it, but uh, instead we're going to open up a different Hidden Fates product. Instead of opening the worst packaged product ever, we're going to open up the second worst product, packaged product ever. And that is the ball collection. So I do have to hand it to the Pokemon company. They really went for it with this new premium collection. Um, you know, the figure thing is actually so cool. And I love how it has that little slide you can put a card in. But, you know, they thought they could ship that thing. They can't even figure out how to ship a ball. <laughs> This thing is just a sphere and it still like moves around a lot and they have like all this plastic in there to hold it in place unsuccessfully. Um, obviously this one you can get away with it. Clearly not those ones. So we're going to get into this box so we will have a 10 pack opening. Um, yeah, maybe that can, you know, salvage this day as far as, you know, ultimately I am very disappointed in this. And uh, but hey, let's open up some Hidden Fates today. All right, so I cracked the box open. Here is a Zorark code box. And I think I'm going to try to remain on the positive side, I guess, of this whole situation. I, I'm fairly confident that the vendor that I purchased this from, we can work something out. In the past, there have been incidents uh, where there were some problems with getting product and stuff like that, despite that, you know, that I already ordered and ultimately we we're able to work it out to you know a point where I was still a satisfied customer and continue to uh, be one of their patrons but uh, yeah this is very disappointing but I think one way to look at it is you know these boxes they come in boxes of two or maybe that's what a case is I don't know and uh, I ordered a box of two so they put just sent me the box of two and most likely like they didn't even look at it there's no reason to. It's like, oh, this person has two. There's two in here already. There's no reason to even look at it. And I assume that that's the case. So, and like, ultimately, the vendor doesn't determine how these things are packaged. They're kind of like just the middleman. So it's not really their fault. I mean, in a way, that they're a victim just as much as I am. So I cautiously optimistic that this thing will all work out itself. However, obviously, I am disappointed. I can't open that new super premium box for you guys. But uh, yeah, and that figure does look amazing. I give them props for having such a cool figure. Uh, here's like a picture from um, Shouts to I'm Too Big that they managed to find one that was not destroyed. Congratulations to you guys and thanks for letting me use that picture. But uh, yeah, they're really stepping up their game as far as the figure goes. Now we just need to complete the end to end and figure out how to ship it without getting it destroyed. Ooh, that is a very good shiny to start off. Quagsire. I haven't built a Quagnag deck, but uh, it would be pretty cool to swag it out with shiny Quagsires. 
So very solid to this op very solid start to this opening, and uh, yeah, let's salvage this day. On to pack number two. And uh, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. You know, the this is not a cheap box, and um, kind of like the pre-order price wasn't too bad. But if you were to pay like full MSRP, which is basically a hundred dollars for 15 packs uh, plus this figure, you know, you deserve like you should definitely have it in a pristine condition. Um, so yeah, very disappointing. All right, let's focus on these cards. We got a coughing star, you Ickens. A Caterpie, Vaporeon, of course we always get these Vaporeons. Oh man, another shiny and another good one. Shiny Inke to go with Malamar decks. Ooh, get all the um the super good oh what's going on here? Oh nothing. All the good non-GX shinies that I really want. Yeah, so hopefully we can work that out. I'll, but I'll keep you guys up to date with how this develops. And I think it's genius that I'm assuming that slot was purposely put in that figure for to like basically place a card in there so you can have a card on display with the figure. And that is that is brilliant, you know. The a lot of these figures, um, you know, it's just the figure. And it never occurred to me to actually use it to display cards like the Pokeballs kind of Potentially went there in that they have like you can put cards in there But it felt kind of awkward and it's kind of like almost the size of a deck But then you can't really close it if it's sleeved and stuff like that And uh, yeah, we got nothing on that back didn't even realize we got there But I, I, I really, really like this figure and that's why I want to make sure that I play it safe and um, make sure that I get two one two of them in good condition. All right. So far, not bad of an opening. As far as getting shinies go, we are doing great. Or non shiny GXs go. Non GX shinies. Eevee. There we go. We have the full art birds and a electric energy. So kind of a double hitter. 1.38 hitter and I'm a big fan of this if I were to run this in a deck I would definitely use this one over the rainbow because I just think it looks better very nice and these reverse energies um, you know it would be cool once you kind of get enough of them if you if you play IRL and then you can just have your deck swagged out with all reverse energies the dream of having like all secret rare energies that's just not really feasible but that sounds like a good middle ground is reverse energies all right so three plus hits so far and uh, this is a good recovery from some of our previous openings Recently, Hatch have been absolute disasters. We have a Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, a Golem, Farfetch'd. Oh my gosh, I, I'm not opening Hidden Fates often enough anymore that I don't remember off the top of my head which ones are the rares. I'm just waiting like, all right, where's those shinies? Where's the, where's the shiny GX? Where's that Charizard? And that's that's another reason why I didn't really want to open the box. Like even if maybe the figure's okay, um, I don't know. Just the off chance that you pull something, it's like, oh my gosh, yes, we got an amazing pull, and it's like damage with like a dent in it or something. Yeah, they get the reverse and reverse slot is in the middle, but you know that kind of stuff can still happen. Uh, that thing was probably that thing was shipped from Texas to to the northeast of the U.S. and who knows where. It what kind of trip I had to make to even get to Texas so oh my gosh this is a great box Alolan Ninetales I think definitely my favorite Alolan um, and I guess for the shiny it's kind of have a purple hue to it pretty cool although I think as far as the Ninetales uh, GX is I don't think this is the best one I think the sublimation one would have been a little bit cooler. Although I'm guessing that this that card didn't really release yet when this set was released in Japan. So, alright. 
three hits and then a shiny gx this is definitely a good box we still have four packs left so plenty of time to make it an amazing one so i think we're close to salvaging this this uh this release day so you know didn't get to open the product we open we wanted to open but we're getting very good pulls nonetheless i think one more good pull and that will seal the deal misty scyther sabrina a jigglypuff ekans oh and uh if you do want to purchase this product at this point like if you're kind of in between like oh do i buy it online or go to the store um unless you can find it online for cheaper than msrp just go to the store take a look at the box if it's looks like it's broken um i don't know i i wouldn't buy it but this is a situation where if, it, if the price is the same go look at the product before you buy it otherwise you'll be in this holding pattern like i am currently for probably some period of time all right we got something i think i messed up the pack trick fire energy nurse joy sabrina misty a cubone voltorb geodude eevee a cleaf fairy starmie it's just a Ooh, okay all right at this point we're going the volume route getting a uh, not too impressive but kind of hits definitely not misses but not exactly great hits either so i'm i'm satisfied with this at least this box and uh, at first i was going to open up an etb and kind of make the story of you know like etbs have improved so i appreciate that pokemon is raising the bar as far as like the stuff they throw in these products you know what this one is this one actually does feel premium that that figure is just amazing just need to figure out the shipping and when you think about like the etbs where the how far they've i don't know how far but how they've improved you know with that divider thing so everything is neatly organized all the packs are separated chance of something getting damaged is super low you know the promo is just in this like little sleeve thing but i'm fairly i'm very confident that they won't get damaged in shipping so you know i'm still hopeful that they can uh you know continue to have new products of this caliber and figure out how to ship it to consumers safely all right so we're on our last pack and we have two reverse energies a non g shiny gx shiny gx a full art birds and two shinies so pretty good opening we got our five hits right here that we're looking for uh this just about counts as one more so this is pure bonus and it's a charizard you know what that probably doesn't mean here we go So this is going to be the last pack of this video and um yeah i think we've we've recovered pretty well but uh yeah still a little disappointed but um yeah i'm gonna play it safe and i'll let's uh keep you up to date with how things progress but as always guys thanks for watching sorry we didn't do the opening we wanted to but appreciate all the support on the channel like comment and subscribe all down below i'm moana turtle eee. And we'll catch you guys next time.